All right, hello guys. Today's video is going to be a little bit shorter than normal. We're doing Winter Thoughts Part 5. We're going to be looking at the updated Jamstech Outlook. Jamstech is the Japanese model, and their, it's their version of NOAA, and they have their own model. And we see this update once a month, so this is the September update. And you can see we're looking at the precipitation first forecast first off, and you have to kind of... Uh, I'll zoom into the United States, but it's usually zoomed out for the entire world. So I'm kind of looking from afar, but we do see above average precipitation pretty much everywhere. They have a little bit more drier conditions for the Northwest and then kind of in Texas, but the precipitation forecast is kind of all over the place usually, as well as their temperature forecast. It is fun to look at, but they do flip flop a lot, the jams tech. So we do see this switch up every once in a while. For instance, last month's August outlook showed warmer than normal conditions, and you're going to see that is not the case this month. It could be the start to a trend, but it could just go back and forth once again and show warm next month and cold and warm until winter gets here. Uh, that's sometimes what we see with this one. So we're going to move on to the temperature forecast, and you can see that there is warmer than normal conditions expected for Canada according to this model. And colder than normal conditions for Greenland. I don't know how much I buy that. I think Greenland's going to be dealing with above average temperatures with the current sea surface temperature look. But nevertheless, it is fun to look at this. Uh, this Obviously, if Greenland was warmer, we would be dealing with the cold being centered a little bit further east. We see kind of this temperature look that we've seen for the past year or so where we see the colder than normal conditions centered over the central United States, not the east, not the west, but the central. And we do see some of that cold pour into the eastern United States as well, but really the Dakotas, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas would see the most below average temperatures according to this. And you know, I don't know how much I buy that. Uh, I think that it could be centered further east, especially if we're dealing with a negative NAO, but we're going to have to keep an eye on things. That's going to probably be something that we won't be able to tell until after the winter exactly where the cold is going to be centered, but it'll be interesting to see. just wanted to show this real quick. This is my temperature forecast for this winter, of course, and I'm calling for warmer than normal conditions for the west coast of the United States as well as cold Cold for the central United States, but really I have it centered a bit further east over the Great Lakes. And then uh, most of the northeastern United States is pretty far below average. But really, I think those Great Lakes from Minnesota all the way down through Illinois and Indiana and then back up through upstate New York and interior New England. I think that's where the coldest of the air is going to be centered. That's just my forecast. And of course, my forecast does change from time to time as well, just like the Jamstack. So this isn't uh, rock solid, my final forecast, but... This is what the current thinking is right now. Anyway, guys, sorry for the short upload. I just wanted to show that the Jamstack did update and kind of break it down for you guys. See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.